Ligurskar, he's a chairman of Eon Reality. Uh, your perspective uh, from the private sector in terms of the importance of partnerships, yes. First of all, I must say I'm impressed with the energy and the devotion that I heard. And it's going to be, as a European, I'm a Swede, it's going to be very hard to match her speech. <laughs> but, um, I also spent the last 15 years in Silicon Valley, so I will show you a little bit of the American aggressiveness here. So, in any case, um, I would say this. We had a lot of great speeches today about Ethiopia. And I must say, perhaps the most exciting area, and that's the one area I would focus on is how you don't give people fish, how you give them fishing rods. And I think the key to that is knowledge transfer. This is what Africa needs, this is what Ethiopia needs. And uh, as an entrepreneur that I've been in Sweden uh, I, and been in the US now for 15 years, I've had the pleasure to first-hand experience the Ethiopian business climate. And I must say, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic because of many reasons uh, that have been shared by the audience. I'm not going to go into that. I do see challenges also. And I say the largest challenge is in the skills and capacity building. And I think uh, that's why we as a company have focused to, together with Unido, to roll out knowledge transfer projects. Uh, the latest project is an example, is with a Volvo training center, where we use virtual reality and augmented reality to teach people, uh, students, uh, 12 times faster than books, uh, how to become repair Volvo engines, diesel engines. And that's a concrete example of what, what we like to do and what we're doing in Ethiopia. I've had a pleasure over the last 25 years to work with simulation virtual reality. I'm a rocket scientist by trade. And I've seen how $50 million simulators for aircrafts become now 27 cents simulators in Ethiopia on my mobile phone. And that's very, very exciting to see how people apply this. So it's not so much about telling people, teaching by telling. It's about teaching by showing how to do. That's the key. And Ethiopia, we couldn't come to Ethiopia in a better time because right now in virtual reality, a lot of very exciting things are happening. I'm sure you follow the news. Facebook just acquired a company for $2 billion. Google, Sony, Microsoft, all are plunging billions of dollars in this technology. They do it for different reasons. We as a company, over the last 15 years, have focused on one thing only, and that's knowledge transfer. So, not to talk too much about our company, but I think it's important in the context. We are currently the number one software supplier in knowledge transfer. We've been able to build the largest network of developers around the globe in knowledge transfer with more than 55 governments. We've been able to build the largest library jointly with other governments that contain more than 7,000 applications with specific flow focus in TVT, technical vocational training. And I think that's, that's important. Now, last year, after 14 years of piloting in Africa, we made a, made a big decision to invest in a program we call Learn for Life. And the focus of Learn for Life is basically one thing and one thing only, is to help countries that need it most and do it at a cost that's fractions of the dollar what happens in US and other locations. Now, what is our experience so far? I would summarize that in three things. We've seen students understand faster, up to 12 times faster than using books. We've seen students remember longer what they learn, up to 35% higher retention rate. Then we've seen students decide better, so this is very important lessons. Now, what are the benefits we've seen so far? In Ethiopia, it's early, because we have just done pilots, but we've seen this around the world. And I would say there are three again. The first one is fast-track employable students. That's the key word. Match what you learn in school with what industry needs. I happen to come from Sweden, so H&M, Volvo, IKEA, all these companies need specific things. Teach that. The second, th second thing is job creation. But really quality job creation. And the third thing, competitive advantage for companies that establish themselves in Ethiopia. Uh, the last point I want to make is that I have some good news. Uh, I'm here because one reason is to engage in discussion with Unido. Our board has just approved uh, two lines of funding for investment in Ethiopia. The first one is rather small. It's a $10.2 million, $10 million fund uh, to set up a center 
that's focusing only on knowledge transfer. It will be located at Bowie IT Park. I was there a couple weeks ago and looked at it. It looks very promising. Um, the second one, we call it the Knowledge Bit Initiative. This is a much bigger initiative. What we're doing with this is reaching out, our goal is to reach out to 20% of the students in Ethiopia with a program where we will donate up to 90% of the cost to get them access to the library for knowledge transfer in TVT, the one that we developed over the last 15 years. If we can get to a level of 20%, that translates to a contribution from our side of annually $260 million. So that's quite significant. But it depends on the collaboration that we'll have with the government. And I would like to end my speech with one comment. If I look at the audience here, so if someone told you when you guys were kids that when you, uh, when you grow up, there will be a software out there that in about three seconds will get you to know anything about everything, you would be saying that's not possible. It has happened. The last decade, Google has made information a commodity. It's cheap. You can find out anything about anything. Still today, knowledge transfer is a luxury that is mainly targeting on the high quality knowledge transfer goes to the Yales, the Stanfords, the, the Core Polytechnique. Our vision and dream together with you here in Ethiopia would be to make knowledge transfer a commodity. Make it available, accessible and affordable for anyone in Ethiopia, but extends extend this to the planet. And with that, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, very exciting, very good. Uh, even here, as we speak today, two new initiatives, uh, one that can reach 20